in today's video. You guessed it, I'm going to give you my best tips on giving your dog <laughs> a bath. If you're watching this video, it's probably because your dog does not love bath time. And you know what? Finn hated the bath when I first adopted him from iDog Rescue. They'll be linked below. But through doing a few of these little tips and tricks, he now tolerates it. Step number one is exactly what you see. I started him in the bathtub without any water. And what I mean by that is I don't want his first experience with getting a bath to be me dunking him in a body of water, especially if he's never had one before. So before I ever gave Finnegan a bath, I actually tried to make the bathtub a fun place. And so I have my treat pouch here, you guys can see, and I have some little uh, freeze dried, this is actually tripe. Oh, you know, you love it, you sit. And so we just worked on, when he was a puppy, we worked on his basic obedience inside the bathtub with no water. And then we would end on a positive note and then come back, <laughs> excuse you, and then come back and do it again. And what this did was eliminate a lot of the uncertainty and some of the initial fear that he had of being in physically in the bathtub. Step two, if you have any of these poodle or doodle mixes, like we, we think Finn is a golden doodle, I'm not 100% sure since he's a rescue, but if you have any curly or wavy haired coat dog or long haired coat dog, I highly, highly, highly recommend, in fact, I don't even recommend, I require you to make sure that you can use a slicker brush and a metal comb to get through your dog's coat gently, of course, you don't wanna pull at them, but make sure 100% that there are no mats. One thing I learned the hard way with having a doodle is if you try to give them a bath and every single mat is not out of them, out of their fur, you can make it worse. Step three, and this is really step one, honestly, but the next step is to make sure that you have the right shampoo and conditioner. I am a huge advocate for natural shampoos, ones with chemicals and a lot of ingredients that you can't pronounce are not ones that I like to use on my dogs. These are two brands, they're kind of messy here, but these are two brands that I personally love for Legger an awesome company, they'll be linked down below, and then Kin and Kind. So the best investment I made with giving my dogs a bath at home is this uh, shower head. So it has a magnet on the back of it that attaches to the main shower head, and it has a pause button on it, which means that I can turn the water off so it's not wasting water. I'm only using what I need to give them a bath. that the water is not too warm. I don't want it too cold either. This shampoo, because it's not full of chemicals, doesn't lather up in the same way, so you don't have to use a lot. You still get a little lather, but it's not the same. Get your dirty beard. I know, your beard gets so dirty. It gets so dirty. And because this is a non-toxic, all-natural shampoo, I don't have to worry about if he you know, licks a little bit off of his lip, I don't get too, too worried. While I let the shampoo soak, because of how his hair is, I am able to see his skin really easily when his fur is wet. I take this opportunity just to double check for fleas and ticks. And I do this every time I bathe them, not because he has a flea and tick issue, but we live in Texas and especially in the summer, they can get really bad. And we have a lot of trees and bushes in our backyard, which is awesome, but it also means that there could be bugs. Here you go, can you sit? Good sit, stink -a mink There you go. And I'll do some treats and a little bit of training and stuff just to reinforce that this is a happy time. And now we rinse. When I do his head, I try to put his head back and just go gently in circles a little bit a little bit at a time and avoid getting water in his ears. Boop. And if I go around his eyes, I try to keep it quick. Ready? Boop. Oh. I have also accidentally gotten water up his nose before. 
Don't do that. <laughs> Good boy. Good job, Finn. It's really important to also make sure that you rinse all of the soap out because otherwise it'll dry their skin out and make them itchy. To dry them off, I gently kind of squeeze, not hard at all, but just kind of like wring out some of the excess water. You can see <laughs> he's like a sponge. Uh, and I just do that to get some of the excess water off before I towel dry him. And then if you have a doodle, you really, in mo most poodle mixes, it's really important to blow dry them, which he doesn't love, but will do because if you let their hair stay wet for too long, it could mat really badly. Guess what you earned, Case? Oh, yep. Yeah. Are you guys okay? Are you dry? Can you sit? Oh, good sit. Yes, it's a good boy. I do his initial towel dry inside the bath because we're about to have zoom. Oh, oh, that's my throat, buddy. We're about to have zoomy butt here in just a minute. Good job, bugaboo. Good job, grumpy a grumpy wet cat is what you look like <laughs> but I still have some more blow drying to do you guys can see that he's still a little well I can't because it's kind of dark here we go it's still his coat is still a little bit damp we can see how clean that looks and I'm a good boy and can you guys see like how curly and wavy his hair is so this is why brushing and combing is so important because it gets tangled so quickly. Also, comment below, did you guys notice this? He has one like red curly hair. How flipping cute, Finn. One very important thing to note is some dogs after a bath, after they've gone through kind of rinsing off of their scents, they can actually feel very, very vulnerable. So right after a bath is probably not the best time to go to a dog park or go have your dog meet brand new strange dogs where conflicts may occur. Now I know that's not a common thing to do right after a bath, but just keep in mind that if your dog is like rolling all over the carpet after or they seem a little stressed, it's because they've just, a big part of their identity is what they smell like. And so when you give them a bath, they kind of, for a second there, and there's different theories around this, but some people believe that they kind of lose their scent. And so it makes them feel a little insecure, a little uncomfortable. So they might not be 100% themselves. So that's just kind of a little, a little, a little safety tip there. Whew, nobody tells you what a workout that's gonna be. Before I forget, I wanna do comment of the day or bark remark of the day. This comment is on a video I did all about nail trimming uh, that is linked right here. And the comment is from one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. They're gone to the snow dogs. You, you guys know who they are. And if you don't, they're linked right here and down below. Go check them out. Uh, but they said, this is one the one job that I hate doing the most. I'm always afraid I'm going to clip Oh, that I'm going to hurt them. We have done clippers and also the Dremel. I always feel safer with the Dremel for some reason, but some dogs hate that noise. You did a good job. You know you made it in life when the biggest dog vlogger of all time comments on one of your videos. That means so much. Gone to the snow dogs. Thank you guys so damn much. And I hope that you have a beautiful